So in this video I'm going to be looking at the Bigfoot NPC that comes with the Bon Voyage expansion pack and I've decided to do this in the Summer Dream household in Veronaville instead of making this video in Blightgate and there's two reasons for that. So the first reason is that Mrs Crumplebottom has a really weird lifetime one in this neighbourhood. If you watched one of my older videos with Mrs Crumplebottom and the Wishing Well, you'll have already seen this, but basically Mrs Crumplebottom has a weird uh, corrupted lifetime one that says eat value grilled cheese sandwiches. So before I get into the main part of this video, I just wanted to quickly see if it's actually possible for her to complete this lifetime one, because what I think will happen is it just won't work, like what happened with Kevin and his corrupted zombie once. So we should be getting a zombie now. Ooh. Meadow is a zombie. Oh my god. Did that not count? I guess that's what happens. He just has these permanent invisible wants. So I'm going to make Mrs Crumplebottom eat 200 grilled cheese sandwiches just to see if this lifetime one can still be completed. So another thing I just wanted to point out quickly is that even though this isn't Blightgate, you'll notice that Mrs Crumplebottom still has her plant sim hair and her plant sim skin. I'm assuming she's not classified as a plant sim or any other life state in this particular neighbourhood. So you can see she's not a vampire anymore, um, and I don't think I removed that before, because she doesn't have the vampire uh, animations here. And she doesn't have the ability to, you know, stalk or turn into a bat or anything. And like, if I look here, she's got all of her usual motives. She's not recognised as a plant sim here. She's still got all the memories of all of the fights from the other videos because those memories are also stored on the neighbourhood level. The vast majority of, like, details about a sim are actually stored on the neighbourhood level, even for these universal NPCs. Their memories, their lifetime one. I don't know about their personality, that might be stored in the game files too. I'm not entirely sure about that. I think her personality is consistent between neighbourhoods, but I'd have to double check that. And, you know, stuff like her career and all of the life states, like being a plant sim, being a vampire, all of that kind of thing, they're all stored on the neighbourhood level, so they're not actually stored in the game files. Which means that if you mess around with Mrs Crumplebottom in one neighbourhood, um, then her life states won't happen in the other neighbourhood. Like, if you turn her into a ghost, I think she should be normal in all other neighbourhoods. But any changes to her physical appearance will be shared between all of the neighbourhoods, which is why you can see she still has the plants in her. So I'm editing this video and I thought I should expand on what I was talking about a little more and kind of show in Simpy what I'm talking about. Rod Humble's name is Rod Stratton here because he was adopted by Christy Stratton in my other video and I did actually change it back but then when I was messing around with Bigfoot in this video I ended up restoring the package file so basically he's got this name again. When a universal NPC's name has changed that seems to be saved across every neighbourhood. If I open up Mrs Crumplebottom in this neighbourhood um, what you'll see is that her gender is set to male, she has no remaining days in her life state, her age is set to adult, her interests are zero, her skills are zero, and her personality is just is non-existent. She is zero points. Now, as far as I know, this is her genetic personality. In this particular neighbourhood, neighbourhood 26, it's a copy of Veronaville, and I was testing some stuff with Rod Humble, but I haven't gone downtown in this neighbourhood, and I haven't seen Mrs Crumplebottom in this neighbourhood. Now compare that to Mrs Crumplebottom in my Veronaville neighbourhood, where I have messed with her a bunch, including adding her to a household. So her gender is now set to female. Um, she's an elder. I feel like her age should be like 29 days, but I've played the game a little bit, so she's aged slightly. So now if we come over to interests, you'll notice her interests aren't set to zero anymore. She's got like a bunch of interests. She's a Scorpio and she has this personality. And in her skills, she has like 10 cooking points, 10 body, 5 logic, and 10 cleaning. And all of her other skills are zero. The interesting thing about this is that her skills, interests and personality seem to be the same across every neighbourhood she's in. So even though all of these details are stored in the sim description, there must be some reference to them in the game files. Um, I don't really know 
where it's saved. So I haven't checked to see when all of these details load into the sim description. It's either when you first encounter her on a community lot or when you add her to a household. I haven't done anything with this room so you can still see there's like cereal boxes everywhere. We're probably going to have to move some of these because we have to get Mrs. Crumplebottom to make some grilled cheese sandwiches. So we're getting rid of these. So the other reason I wanted to use this lot is that I created a sim just for a short little cinematic in a previous video called Miss the Monster. So Mr. Monster is a sim that's referenced in some deleted text strings in the game files that didn't end up getting used in the final game. So he would call up your sims when they're underperforming in school and say a bunch of like random insane stuff. I actually created a little video of that for my power outage scenario video. So if you didn't watch that, here's like a recap of that. You, yes, you behind the bike sheds. I am your headmaster, Mr. Monster, and your grades are a mess. Fix them quick or you will grow up to be a hill of beans. And also, don't think you can get off easy by not telling your parents I call. I will come to your house and I will trash your room and will eat all of your sugary cereal. Then I'll buy some more cereal or wait, I'll buy the whole store out and will eat it all on your front lawn while you're inside with your malt oatmeal. Super sorry you ever failed calculus. Also, I will forbid any student or teacher at the school to call you anything but Monsieur Marcel Dunstchamp from now on. How do you like me now? So I decided to use Mr. Monster for this video because I feel like the way I designed him, he kind of looks like Bigfoot, and so I sort of thought maybe he's some distant relative of Bigfoot. So that's basically the storyline I'm going with for this video. He's going to try and find his, like, distant relative Bigfoot. So I still don't have the treasure map that we need to get to Bigfoot. I'm going to try and have all of the sims um, dig for treasure in the ground a bunch of times. I don't know how long it takes to get the map. Mrs. Crumplebottom doesn't seem to have an option to make grilled cheese sandwiches. Now normally when a sim has the grilled cheese sandwich lifetime aspiration, they can make grilled cheese sandwiches any time of day. But the thing is, Mrs. Crumplebottom is actually a family sim. It's just her lifetime want is completely wrong for her aspirations. So I don't think the game is actually recognising her as having the grilled cheese aspiration. I think I should be able to do it this way. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we need to move Mrs. Crumplebottom's bag so that she can actually make the grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> We're going to have everyone study cooking so they can help out with this task. Oh no, Mrs. Crumplebottom. Her bag's returned. <laughs> There's going to be quite the pile of bags when we're done with this. She hasn't actually served the grilled cheese sandwiches. There we go. <laughs> She's very intense about this grilled cheese sandwich. No expression. Is it a good grilled cheese sandwich? We'll never know. <laughs> All the cereal boxes and like purses everywhere. I need to keep track of how many she's eating as well because I don't think I'm going to have any help from like memories or anything. Normally when grilled cheese aspiration sims eat a grilled cheese sandwich you get a memory and that makes it easier to keep track of how many they've eaten as they move towards their lifetime goal of eating all of the sandwiches. But because the game doesn't recognise her as a grilled cheese aspiration sim, she doesn't have those memories. I think this is the second one. I'm just gonna have to put the plates somewhere and use the plates to keep track of how many grilled cheese sandwiches she's eaten. This is like an insane eating contest. She's gonna be eating 200. <laughs> this is the fifth one. Okay, so... Wait, what? No! No, Mrs. Crumplebottom. That purse. I wonder what happens if I sell that while she's knitting, like her purse. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> like looking at the camera grumpily. Eh? 
Crumple and pass and Rod Humble's present pinball. <laughs> She's been distracted. We can't let any of the grilled cheeses go to waste. Just gonna have to eat this. Wait, what? No! Oh. <laughs> I wonder if you can open the present while it's on the pinball machine. <laughs> okay, so then... Nah, the computer can't be placed there. We're gonna put some grilled cheeses. At this rate, someone in this house is probably going to die from flies because we have quite the collection of plates building up. I wonder if Mr. Monster will get to like 10 culinary points by the end of this. He's getting close, he's on 6 right now. Mrs. Crumplebottom is distracted by the grilled cheese for now. She hasn't noticed that they're in the hot tub. Mrs. Crumplebottom has food poisoning. Oh no. Looks like she's entered aspiration failure. <laughs> Just too many grilled cheese sandwiches. Very confused as a family sim with a grilled cheese aspiration. Wait, where's... But where's Mrs. Crumplebottom running off to? Alright. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because she has food poisoning. Yeah, she's still in the hot tub and Miss I'm sure Mrs. Crumplebottom just ran past her. No. Oh gosh. I, I was gonna say, she ran past, she must have seen that and now she's going to lecture, so. Oh, we finally ran out of food. The pinball grilled cheese has gone off. I think I've made it to about 50 now, but there's still 150 to go. Got a plaque. 
got like nine cooking skills now, so I think he actually will get to level 10. Oh wow. So Mr. Monster has finally reached 10 cooking. We still haven't hit 100 grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh no, Genesis are stealing one of our grilled cheese sandwiches. Those are for our challenge, Genesis. Actually, you know what? Isn't that Joy Desperate? Like, the same sim from Judo Birch's Let's Play series. Always you. See, we invite you into a house. She better not wash up the plates. Don't, don't. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to pay the bills, apparently. I think it's because someone got in the way of the car and then I got distracted. They're taking the crumple button pinball machine. Repo man, no! <laughs> Can't take that. There we go. Crumple button pinball has returned. So Mrs. Crumplebottom has eaten about a hundred plates of grilled cheese. Has he stopped doing that? What is he doing? What's happening here? Ingredients tray? I think he was in the middle of cooking something and got interrupted. Back to the grilled cheese sandwiches. I've actually stopped and restarted playing the game because um, this, is, this has taken quite a while. It takes quite a while to eat this many grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't know what to do with this, as you can't even interact with it. I'm just gonna have to, like, delete it, I guess. Okay, so somehow he's managed to set fire to the stove. Oh my god. He had 10 cooking points too. This is the first time I think he's set fire to the stove uh, in all of the grilled cheese sandwiches he's made. Oh god, all of the friends they're losing right now. I'm not seeing the option to actually dig a hole right now and I think it might be because it's been snowing. So... We might actually need to wait a couple of days until it's spring before I start doing that. Actually, he already has... He has enough aspiration points, so I guess we'll just put this somewhere. And then try and change the season to... Uh, spring. What's happening here? What's Mr. Monster doing? Oh, I guess he came... Oh, Consort came around to steal our newspaper. <laughs> I thought for a second Mr. Monster had turned into Mrs. Crumple, but um, while she's eating her sandwiches, he's taken over the responsibility of, like, lecturing Sims. Neighborhood decorations are in spring mode, but there's still all the snow here. We need to get rid of it. I think it'll still probably take a little while to melt. I don't know how long, but hopefully we can start either today or tomorrow. Look at all the plates. Why are they just doing this muscle in this corner? They're like so far away from the stereo. 
You can barely even hear the sound over here. I'm wondering. That's great. I think that cat's gonna keep trying to get off. I'm gonna see if I can put the cat on the pinball machine. <laughs> He's gonna keep trying to leave. What about that way around? What? No. Okay, well it worked for like a second. Just imagine how long it's going to take to wash all this stuff up. It's going to be insane. Mrs. Crumplebottom has full body skill points and so she can do yoga on these little uh, tables over here. I want to see what it will look like if Mrs. Crumplebottom does yoga on the table. So I might do that after she's finished eating all of her grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm fairly certain the lifetime one won't actually be completed, even if she gets to 200. This isn't exactly 200 over here anyway, or it won't be when I finish, because she accidentally washed some up anyway. It looks like one of Mrs. Crumplebottom's bags is buried under here. Yep. Why is it so low down? Strange. I saw a little bit more visible here. <laughs> Just put it in the sink. I don't know if that's going to block the sink. Oh no. <laughs> this is Crumple Bottom's purse. Ain't the sink. Is there no way of making this work? No. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Crumple Bob's purse gets priority over the sink. You could sort of create like a kind of global NPC museum. You could have like. <laughs> Mrs. Crumplebottom's knitting needles, Mrs. Crumplebottom's purse. There's probably other bits and pieces you can pick up from the different NPCs and then you could just like remove it and stick it in the museum. You could have like Rod Humble's present in the museum. I never realised how serious Puck was before. I always figured he would be like a playful sim. I feel like being playful fits the idea I have of him more, but he's not. I think it's interesting that the Summer Dream household has this guest bedroom. I can't really think of many Max's houses where they have like a spare bedroom that doesn't belong to like any of the existing sims. Even the goth household. The goth's like really rich but they don't have a guest bedroom. I was hoping after sunrise the uh, snow would start to melt but there's no sign of it melting yet. I just went into buy mode and it says that Mrs. Crumplebottom has fulfilled her lifetime wish. So unlike with Kevin and his corrupted zombie once, it was possible for Mrs. Crumplebottom to achieve her lifetime one, and she's now classified as the town mother, which is kind of funny for Mrs. Crumplebottom. But does she have the memory? She didn't get any of the other memories of like eating grilled cheese sandwiches that grilled cheese aspiration sims usually get, but she has gotten this. Congratulations, Mrs. Crumplebottom. You have officially eaten value grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> So this seems to work, despite the fact that it doesn't say the correct number, but um, Kevin's wants were like completely broken. Making zombies didn't seem to fulfill any of them. I want to see like how high the pile of plates can get as she's washing it up. What? <laughs> That's very inefficient, Mrs. Crumplebottom. Is it just me or does she seem happier? Like her walk seems happier. Look, she's bobbing her head. Is that like because she's got perma-platinum now? That's not. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most inefficient way of doing this. Why are you walking up and down stairs? Okay, I think she's just gonna go- No. What is this routing? Walking up and down stairs to get all the plates, Mrs. Crumplebottom. There's a sink right there. Like, this is just. Um, just pause for a second. We want Mr. Monster to start digging for treasure. So you can actually dig for treasure now. And I think everyone that's on the lot should really be digging for treasure to, like, maximize the chance of getting the uh, treasure map that we need. Okay, so that wasn't a particularly high pile of plates. I think there's a limit. I don't know what it is. It's probably like five to ten plates, probably. It would be amazing, though, if you could get just like an insane pile of plates. It's not getting visually higher beyond two when you do it that way. 
Yeah. I can see why they've said it this way, so that you can only pick up like a certain amount of plates. It would be completely unrealistic and weird if you just <laughs> look at her face. It would be very unrealistic if you had like a giant pile of plates that's that like and Sims were just carrying that and then like washing it up. That would be insane. But it would be really funny. I don't suppose it's possible to mod that. So now Puck's back, we're gonna have him dig for treasure too. Just to get everyone digging for treasure. Yeah, that's something I wanted to talk about before actually. I was planning on posting about this on Twitter, but I don't think I did. And it's not super interesting, but for some reason Mrs. Crumplebottom's purse um, gathers snow when, when it's been snowing out. Most things that Sims are carrying, I don't think, gather snow that way. <laughs> Even now, she still has, like, her hands in the... Like, she's carrying her bag still, but she's not. And now she's floating. I don't actually remember what sims normally look like when they're doing yoga because it's been too long uh, since I've had a sim do yoga now. <laughs> so I've made Demi selectable just for now so that I can uh, compare her to Mrs. Crumplebottom's yoga. You need 10 active points and I think 10 body points. It's either 10 or 9 body points. I didn't compare. Both your personality and your skill points matter for yoga. Yeah, it's cool how like both your personality and your skills affects the stuff that you can do in The Sims 2. Oh my, what have you done, Mr. Monster? Look at all of this water. Demi still hasn't started floating in a weird way. I'm thinking this might just be a Mrs. Crumplebottom thing. I don't think he's found anything. So far he just seems to be, um, he seems to have really attacked the water main. Alan, that grilled cheese sandwich has gone off. I don't know if you want to be eating that. I mean, I guess if you're that hungry, I suppose. It's like she's using the bubble blower almost, like she's floating around. Yeah, I feel like they might be doing the same move right now, only Mrs. Crumplebottom's hands are stuck in that position and she's also floating yeah i think it's just the hand placement that's weird i think the rest of her body is in the correct place right i think it's just because her hands are not in place that i mean maybe it's a little higher but it's about right <laughs> i'm going to focus now and we're going to try and get this treasure map what's mrs crumplebottom up to well i think we've seen enough of this yoga now and also, I'm going to uh, make Demi unselectable again. Oh wow! She actually used her hands in like a normal way there for a second. Oh right, she did so much yoga, she um... She's getting fitter again. Do not recommend eating 200 grilled cheese sandwiches in one go, you will probably die. Nope. She's not digging in the normal way. It's a bit like um, what happens with Garfield when he's like digging or using a broom. That is not how you mop. <laughs> Mopping the ceiling, maybe. Oh no, her bag's returned. Although, it looks like she can still dig even though she's holding her bag. So this might work out. Oh, what's that? The mysterious hut in Twicky Island. No! That is not the one we need! That is a map! It's not the one we need right now. What's this? Another one? He's getting all of them at once. That's- Oh my god! He's gonna get- He's got every one except the one we need. <laughs> this lot is a mess! Between the 200 dirty plates and all of these holes that are just like... Shooting out water. She's got promoted. Hey, uh, 
I don't know where Mrs. Crump or what was going right now. Oh gosh, Demi, you're you're messing with our system. You're distracting Mrs. Crumplebottom. Gonna have to ask her to leave. Let's see if we can get Mrs. Crumplebottom to use her own pinball machine. What's that? No! A Twiki- <laughs> It's a Twiki Island map again! She's playing Crumble Bomb Pinball. She should really be the best at this game because... <laughs> I have a feeling that the first map a sim finds is always the Twiki Island one. I don't know because both Puck and Mr. Monster both found that one first. Maybe that's a coincidence though. What? What's this? No, Twiki. See, it's Twiki Island. It's the first map they always find. It seems to be in that order every time. Ah, okay. So, so I guess it is random, but they all seem to get the Twiki Island one first. If we, I guess we'll we'll send them all on this journey. <laughs> we we'll send Mrs. Crumplebottom along with them. I don't know. We really should clean up this disastrous mess. Maybe we should get a butler actually, because. <laughs> <laughs> this place needs managing, I don't know. Maybe we should just get a butler. Let's get a butler. So I think I'm going to send the whole household on this vacation. <laughs> Mrs. Crumplebottom isn't really supposed to be here, she was just here for the grilled cheese experiment, but I'm going to send her along anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna move them to this resort. <laughs> it's always like 180 degrees back, what that looks painful. Oh, he's still in his work clothes. There's two seats in the back as well, but no one goes in to sit in them. He actually wants to meet Bigfoot. Well, that's great, because we are going to meet Bigfoot. All the knowledge sims want to meet Bigfoot. I think what we'll do first is just check them into a bunch of rooms. And then after that, we'll head off to find Bigfoot. So we're going to check them in here. 3,000 a night, yikes. We don't have access to buy or build mode here, but I'm going to make him selectable and see what I can do with that. I actually wonder where this is located, this particular thing, because these lots are invisible in the map. And I've noticed like on Twiki Island, there's a little area, if you use the cinematic camera, that's kind of out of the way. Oh, there's like a little skylight. <laughs> it's Mrs. Crumple, but I'm lecturing Bigfoot. <laughs> What's his name? Avery Bigfoot. He's just in here dancing. Oh my god, yeah, because like, I guess he's not wearing clothes, technically. He's in his underwear. This, this could go on a long way. <laughs> so let's start with making him selectable. Actually, he should come in and uh, and talk to Bigfoot. There's a lot of rocks around here. We better go and distract Mrs. Crumplebottom. It's actually set as time to go home on Bigfoot's vacation meal. Bigfoot's a fortune sim. And uh, it's got a fairly typical lifetime one. Oh wow, all of Bigfoot's skills are maxed out. And he has a lot of badges. Bigfoot is very talented. <laughs> Mrs. Crumplebottom, I didn't bring you here to just lecture Bigfoot forever. We have an invisible fishing rod. 
<laughs> Still holding up path. Too many iterations. No. I like how Bigfoot has the little bear chair in here. So Bigfoot has no chemistry tab because I actually don't think you can have any kind of romantic uh, relationship with Bigfoot because he's kind of a special NPC in that respect. In spite of that, he has kissed the mystery sim sim. <laughs> and he went to college! He's got a map to his own house, which I suppose makes sense. I, I think every sim that's here probably needs to have the map. Well. Not every sim, because all these sims don't have it. Only Titania has the map. Oh, he actually wants to receive Bigfoot hug. There's another NPC called Bigfoot Bigfoot, which is, I think, kind of a template that all the other Bigfoots are created from. So what I'm going to do if Mrs. Crumplebottom stops interrupting is have Mr. Monster befriend uh, Avery Bigfoot so that he can move in with them. And then I'm going to go back and uh, have a look at the Bigfoot Bigfoot NPC, which is the one you're not supposed to add. And that's kind of like the, the father Bigfoot of all the Bigfoots, basically. We'll just have her do the smuzzle. Maybe that will distract her. Everyone do. <laughs> Everyone do the smuzzle. I think because this has been placed inside, it doesn't have any fire animation, which is sort of weird. <laughs> Look at Mrs. Crumplebottom. <laughs> this is so funny with the bag. She has no hand animations. Oh no, she's stopped. She's gonna start lecturing people again. I wonder if she can roast a marshmallow. I'm assuming it won't work because she's got this bag in her hand and a lot of that this kind of stuff doesn't work. Oh no! She she's managing to hold the uh the marshmallow as well as her bag. Wow. She's capable of moving her bag a little bit. She still can't lift plates or anything like that when she's holding her bag. Oh, <laughs> he actually had a fear of that happening. He scared my big foot. Oh, so they're actually friends now. Still no option to ask him to move in. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Why would you say goodbye? No! Why would he leave? This is his house, I mean. Let's just reset that. Oh no. He's lost all of his social interactions. He's leaving to avoid being elected. He has a bunch of like unique uh, animations. I don't understand why that's an option. Like, he, this is his house? How can you say like goodbye to him and then just have him leave? Going back to the hidden burrow. Hopefully he's returned, otherwise I don't know. He's returned. I just realised this lot has a mailbox. Like a regular mailbox, but it also has the community lot thing. I think he has a unique dance animation, actually. <laughs> he's like shocked. She has some very odd facial animation going on right now. And her purse is going through her body. Oh, I think Bottom's actually caught something. Yeah, blue catfish. It's not even a boot. That's pretty good. 
she seems to be like falling off when she tries to sleep on it. Oh, no? Oh. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the option's here now, so we don't have to, uh, we don't have to make him best friends like with normal sims. <laughs> kind of sounds like Scooby-Doo. Oh my god, it's one simoleon. Apparently he has, like, a simoleon lying around here. Okay. So he's actually selectable now. So you can see he now has like relationships with all the sims because uh, he's moved in. What's that noise? Okay. <laughs> there was some like weird sort of exploding noise and I don't know where that was coming from or if that's even part of the game. We're gonna end vacation. Whoa, that's a lot of bugs. Why are the bugs all down here? Oh my, what has happened? Are they swarming? No? That's very odd. Man, I really feel for that butler. He has got a lot of work to do. So I'm now going to add the Bigfoot NPC. And this is the one you're technically not supposed to add. What's happening? Oh, she must have gone into aspiration failure somehow. Maybe Bigfoot tried to scare her. That's <laughs> revenge for all the time she was, was like lecturing him. She actually wants to be friends with Bigfoot though. Bigfoot Bigfoot is the NPC that you're not supposed to add. Wow. <laughs> He's not amused, is he? So this Bigfoot Bigfoot is technically a normal sim, unlike the other Bigfoot, so he behaves mostly like a normal sim. So unlike Bigfoot, who has like no romantic interactions available with any sim, he can actually flirt with sims and do all of the romantic interactions and stuff like that. He doesn't have an aspiration as you can see here, so he's missing that. So he has the chemistry stuff. That's interesting actually, because Mrs. Crumplebottom doesn't have any as you can see here, but Bigfoot Bigfoot does have turn-ons and turn-offs, so at some point somebody set that for some reason. He has no personality, very fit, no bio, obviously no aspiration rewards because there's no aspiration. Yeah, so unlike the other Bigfoot, he doesn't have any skills and he also doesn't have any talent badges. Maybe that's why he's so grumpy. I'm gonna move him into the household. He doesn't have a treasure map or anything like that. Wondering whether um, the other Bigfoot brought anything back with him. It says that he's packing his belongings. He's got two maps of the bar burrow. Maybe when I told him to leave and he came back, maybe he gained another map. He has a lot of options, um, unlike most of the other NPCs, because he doesn't seem to have any uh, scripted behaviour at all, really, because he's just used as a template, I guess, for uh, creating the other NPCs. You can actually do quite a lot with him. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work, because that's <laughs> blocked off. So, I'm just going to check his family tree quickly. Yeah, that's, that's that. So I'm going to change his age. See what that looks like. And he has red hair. Oh no, I forgot to pay the bills again. No, not the... Don't take the pinball machine again. I don't know where he's going. He's taking a long time. Maybe, okay, well I seem to be aging him up to a child now, but I should really, um... Okay, so that's fairly predictable appearance for universal NPCs. I'm actually going to turn him into a toddler though quickly, to see if he has like fairly regular 
interactions. I can't buy um, the crib right now because the repo man is taking forever to leave. Okay, so I was expecting him to be fairly uh, normal functioning. You can get a bottle for him. Yeah, you can place him in a chair, but it looks like um, he doesn't have the option to interact with this stuff. Sometimes when I age universal sims up and down there's kind of a problem and um, I have to restore the object package file because it they get messed up and then it just keeps crashing when I try and age them up again. So because of that what I think I'm going to do first is look at him through all of his age states and then in a minute I'm going to quit and come back because I also want to see what Bigfoot looks like when he's like... Bigfoot, but in toddler form. So we've seen child form. Let's look at the teen form. Oh no, what's happening? No! <laughs> Jim, we've got- there's quite a lot of plates around still. So yeah, you've got the gap in the neck that you get with all of these sims because their like heads don't quite fit the teen form. Since all of the universal NPCs are adults and elders, they always seem to keep their like adult or elder face, but then they'll have the teen sim body. Part of his head is poking up through the top of the hair. His uh, animations seem regular, so that's fairly normal. Okay, so I'm going to see what his adult form looks like now. Wait, is that the right sim I'm doing this to? Okay. <laughs> There's too many Bigfoots, I can't keep track. So the game crashed a minute ago when I aged him up into an adult. I'm not sure if that's going to happen every time I try this. Okay. No. Okay. So yeah, and you can hear like the sound is repeating over and over again, so this is kind of weird and not how the game usually crashes. He does have like the same facial hair that Bigfoot has. Wait, what? Oh no. No, that's the wrong Bigfoot. I was planning on changing his age because I wanted a comparison, but I wasn't planning on doing that right now, but okay. So this is <laughs> this is what the other Bigfoot looks like as an elder. Um, he has the want to fall in love, but that's not actually possible for a, a Bigfoot sim. They can't have any romantic interactions, so that's actually kind of sad. There's too many Bigfoots on this lot, I'm getting confused about which one is which. Um, Mrs. Crumplebottom's going into aspiration failure again, <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> So I'm going to age him into an elder and hopefully it won't crash. I have a bad feeling that now if I age him into any age state it's going to crash. Something sort of similar happened when I was messing around with um, Father Time. Oh! Please don't do the crashing thing. Please don't. I want to I wanna look at him. He's got an alien face. So he actually has like three different skin tones here. Okay, so like with some of the other NPCs, uh, Bigfoot actually has this weird alien thing and I have no idea what causes this. So because Rod Humble's skin tone is quite pale, um, this didn't stand out. I thought it was just that he had the alien skin tone over the top of his other skin tone. But if you look at Bigfoot, he actually has like dark skin tone on his body and the top of his head. But then his face is like two different skin tones merged together. Because of the facial template, it sort of reminds me of, like, maybe the therapist? So this seems to happen to certain sims when they turn into elders. I don't know why it's always the elder life state, but it seems to be, at least from what I've noticed so far. He looks, like, really angry right now. Also, like, you can see, like, there's another mouth inside the mouth. It's actually, like, two faces that have been overlaid on top of each other. I had a look on the Sims wiki and Bigfoot's genetic skin tone is actually the medium skin tone. So I'm editing this video here for a second because while I was recording this video I mentioned that the Sims wiki lists Bigfoot's genetic skin tone as being medium in his Sim DNA and Sim PE. But I thought it would be a good idea to test that just to be sure rather than just taking it as fact. Particularly because I noticed that you can't actually access the Sim DNA of universal NPCs in Sim PE. 
If you click on it, it just doesn't seem to work. But there is a way you can display SIM SIM DNA from within the game using a cheat code. So to do that, you need to create a user startup cheat file, type in brawl prop testing cheats enabled true, and then save that into your Sims 2 config folder. I don't know why it has to be running before you start the game, but it won't work otherwise. I did actually try it without doing that and the cheat just wouldn't work. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what this cheat does. And you do need the Sim whose DNA you're looking at to be on the lot. They don't have to be part of the household, but they do have to be on the lot. So I've summoned Bigfoot here as a visitor. So you want to type in sim DNA and then the sim's first name. I don't know what happens if there's two sims with the same first name on the same lot though. Maybe it just shows both of them, or maybe it just prioritises one over the other. But in this case there's only one Bigfoot on the lot, so we'll type in sim DNA Bigfoot. So you can see from this his eyes are green, his hair's red, uh, and his skin tone is dark. It's not medium. I don't know if maybe this was changed in a patch. As far as I know, I don't have any of the patches installed. I don't remember installing them and you do have to install them manually now. The game won't connect to the internet to patch itself during installation anymore. So I don't think I have any of the patches. I only have whatever fixes came with expansion packs. And I'm also missing several stuff packs, including mansions and gardens, which was the very last pack they released. So I need someone with like all of the expansions to clarify that. But at least in my game, it seems that his genetic skin tone is the dark skin tone, it's not the medium skin tone. So if you use this cheat on David, um, you can see his skin tone is listed as medium. This doesn't seem to affect the skin tone of the other Bigfoot NPCs. After filming this video, I tried adding a bunch to a household, and they all had the same light skin tone and their face template and eye colours appear randomised. This looked a lot like the exact same face that Rod Humble ended up with, like the same facial template and everything. Like, I think the therapist has sort of similar features. And then it's got the alien skin tone over the top, which might come from pollination technician. It's sort of like those two faces have been merged together. Maybe that's not, you know, it looks, it looks... Oh gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why didn't I ro I just, I forgot because I reloaded the game. I didn't pay the bills. Okay, well I'm gonna send him to the mirror. And while I'm doing that, I think we're gonna have a look at what he looks like at different ages, but I have a feeling he'll probably look like a, a regular sim. Oh. <laughs> so, it looks like he might still have his, um, oh. I guess because, um, he has the Bigfoot animations, it's sort of like he's, his animations are kind of broken at the moment because I aged him down to a toddler. So it, the game sort of, makes him stand upright and in toddler form that means he's sort of floating above the ground. You know it's interesting because his eyebrows have a kind of reddish tint to them. I think that might be his actual genetic hair colour coming through. I think that might be why his head comes up so far actually because um, it kind of blocks off. I, I imagine his actual hair might be underneath or maybe he's bald underneath, I don't really know. I'm gonna click yes on this and see if that changes his appearance. Right, so it's it's gone back to, to normal now. Still doing his Bigfoot animations, even as a toddler. This sim is like a regular sim, so he doesn't do any of those anim animations. I want to see what he looks like as a young adult. I have a feeling it will crash the game. So I'm going to leave that a little while. Deck, deck. So that, that seems relatively normal. He's not floating it. Oh no. <laughs> He's back to floating again. It is possible to make uh, regular sims into Bigfoot sims and sim PE, and then they have all of the same social interactions as the Bigfoot NPC from Free Lakes. Okay, so he can age into an adult without it crashing, but the other Bigfoot can't for some reason. I'll just try young adult quickly. It's pretty much the same. And then 
We don't need to age him into an elder again. Because we've already seen that. If I send him to the mirror... Right. He's big for NPCs, um, can't use the mirror. Unfortunately, that does mean he's likely to be stuck like this now, with this, um, sort of generic appearance. So now I'm gonna try and age him into a young adult. It's probably going to crash, but we'll see. Yeah, so the application has crashed. So the game crashed and I've reloaded it again for like, I don't know, I think like the fourth time. Let's have a look at the therapist's face while he's here. I don't know if it is his face, but it would be a really good time to compare actually. So if I just... So I'm going to use move objects on to move him so he's next to the therapist, so I can kind of compare their faces. His face does kind of remind me of the therapist. Obviously his uh, facial hair is different though, and his eyebrows. Although... Let me get... let me zoom in. Hmm. No. Those eyebrows look very similar, right, to the therapist's eyebrows. I think he might have the therapist's face template underneath the alien face template. I assume the alien face template probably comes from Pollination Technician, like the Universal NPC Pollination Technician. It doesn't have the therapist moustache though. The face template is pretty similar. Maybe not the same ears though. I think the therapist's ears are smaller. So, I don't know. It's hard to say. You can see he's got two ears. So it's, it is like he's got two faces. I'm just completely puzzled as to why this happens with- and it doesn't happen with every universal NPC either. It's only a few of them, but when they age up into elders, this happens. Perhaps it's every universal NPC that isn't already an elder. Like obviously Mrs. Crumplebottom and Father Time and Santa Claus are all supposed to be elders. It's very odd in general, right? Because they all look really weird in each of their age days. Like they have invisible faces as children and toddlers. Every single one I've found so far seems to be missing their face as a toddler and a child. The team forms very slightly. But they always seem to have their um, game object face as a teen, but then the body is completely random. Okay, well, I'm going to make both of these sims toddlers and then I'm going to uh, leave the plot and come back in and see if their appearance sort of resets so they look like toddler Bigfoots, basically. Okay, so we want to pay the bills because I do not want the repo man coming around. In fact, it might already be too late. What? That doesn't seem right. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to pay the bill again. No! This is not fair! This is not fair! I was just... I don't think that we're gonna allow this to happen. Repo man. You've repossessed too much. Must delete you. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, there was like a really long pause there for a minute and I thought maybe it had crashed, but... Okay, so this is a toddler Bigfoot. He's looking very hunched up. His legs look pretty weird, but I mean, it, it sort of works. Voice alongside the Bigfoot appearance is really funny. So I'm wondering now that I've sort of exited and re-entered the lot if he'll have the ability to play with the um, kid toys. I'm just gonna go look. No! He still can't uh, interact with this stuff. I don't understand that. It's very odd that like Rod Humble can interact with the toddler toys but Bigfoot can't. And um, he seems to be exactly the same. 
<laughs> Look at his face. Oh, he's not happy right now. Let's improve that. Let's give him platinum aspiration. I know, I think that might just be his like facial expressions that he has when he's doing certain animations actually. But it looks he, it makes him look pretty sad when he looks like a regular toddler. What is happening with that road? Look at that road over there. That is that's like a 90 degree angle road. They have a lot of those in Blue Water Village as well. What I wonder is because all the Bigfoots, right, they get their appearance from him. If he looks different, does that mean all the other Bigfoots will look the same as him? Whatever he looks like, will all the other Bigfoots sort of mirror that appearance? I don't know. If the age part gets copied over as well, like would there just be toddler Bigfoots? Probably not though. It's probably sort of set up so that the Bigfoots always generate as adults. Oh no! She got demoted. So happy despite being demoted and, and Bottom's just ignoring her. Oh no. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> um, so his face has turned blue now. Let's try aging him into an elder. Okay, so he's got he's got his face back now. Oh, okay. So I think that he might be stuck with the blue flashing face now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So even in her like bubble, she can't see his face. And look, it's, you see it's changed the thumbnail there. So he's got like blue. And he doesn't have the option to change his, his face in the mirror, obviously. So <laughs> the sim is now going to have a blue face forever, I guess. Yeah, you can see his blue face in the family thumbnail too now. As with most sims, his child form actually doesn't look that abnormal. His arms look a, a little weird, I guess. It's interesting that this works with the universal NPCs, but it doesn't, you know, work with the other, with him. He's just kind of he's got like this blue face now. I think I'm going to make a couple of random sims and turn them into Bigfoot sims, just to look at like what happens when you turn a normal sim into a Bigfoot sim. It does seem that this is some kind of fixed appearance option here, so... I think I might actually be able to give him a makeover this way. So that actually removed the blue face effect. So I've edited the Gavigan family so that they're all Bigfoot. So you have the Bigfoot hug interaction. So I read on the Sims wiki that female Sims that are turned into Bigfoot have no walk animation, so they just teleport from like one position to another. But um, this isn't happening with her here, and I think that's because it also says that when they're on the home lot, they walk normally. So I'm going to send them to a community lot to see whether it changes their walk animation. Oh. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> What was that about? Uh, she ran normally that time. Hmm. Sometimes her uh, animations are normal and then other times um, there seems to be some kind of delay. When she runs, she runs normally, but when she walks, she just teleports. So it depends on whether she's running or not. He's got the um, the regular Bigfoot animation. It doesn't work with female sims for some reason. So he also teleports because as a child he doesn't have the um, Bigfoot animation either. I think the length of the delay represents how long it takes to like walk from A to B. 
If you move him a short distance, then it only takes a couple of seconds. But if you say, uh, walk all the way over here, okay. <laughs> no, don't start running. That wasn't the point of what I wanted to demonstrate. So you can see I clicked around here and it takes a lot longer than it does to like move here. So there's a kind of lag which is about the time it would approximately take to get from A to B if the sim was actually walking, but they just stay in like one place instead of animating that process. When I read that the sims teleport I assumed that they would like instantly teleport, or maybe it does the kind of teleport animation even. I don't know why because that doesn't seem like a, something that would be scripted for failure states. Oh no, no! Oh, poor Nathan. You can challenge him to fisticuffs, right? Should do that. He might have super strength now, he's technically a Bigfoot sim. Don't think that's how it works, but... She just kind of vanished there. I didn't realise there was like a little tune to this. That's cool. Um, I think the game may have actually frozen. No? Okay. <laughs> it's not frozen. Minus another hundred simoleons! Oh, now we can't do it. How dare you! Oh my god, he's got like reptilian eyes. He's a demon! Okay, um... Wow, well that sucks. Oh, I see now. The witch came onto the lot, that's why it was lagging. Okay. We're gonna have to get that those simoleons back. We're gonna pit pocket the witch. Yeah, they have like all of the um animations that Bigfoot normally has, so like the distress animation to the Bigfoot is unique, so he was just doing that there. I can't believe you can't use the Pit Pocket mod on Unsavory Charlotte and it's just... <laughs> it's very ironic because of course you would want to like Pit pocket him. <laughs> this neighborhood is full of like random sims I've made for other videos that I was doing stuff with. The grey woman of Sim City is over there. Oh, so that's interesting. She has the she has that animation, but she doesn't have the walk animation. I wonder why. I am wondering if like the kid sim has any of the animations at all. He wants to poke. They can't normally poke, can they? It's taking a long time for him to teleport to wherever he's gonna go. Oh, there we go. No? It didn't work. He also doesn't seem to have the um, option to do Bigfoot hugs. He has it. He has the option. And... He doesn't, so... I mean, it would look really weird if he gave his dad a big foot hug, but yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Crumplebottom has come out to the uh, balcony to do some knitting. So I think I'm going to finish this video by having Bigfoot move out with his long lost ancestors, Bigfoot, Bigfoot, and Avery, Bigfoot. Everyone's in an absolutely terrible mood because of the environment. There's a little gnome on the homework. Okay, so we're going to move out with Avery and Bigfoot, Bigfoot. Where is Bigfoot? I don't know if they're actually going to be able to move out. We're gonna find out. Looks like they've moved out successfully. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Looks like Mrs. Crumplebottom's leaving too.